I'm just experimenting with rooms to see what works for me, what works for my community, how can I strengthen the bonds in my community? Um, I think for government and public sector, I think Q&As would be really powerful where you can just have, you know, like a panel discussion with, and, and talk about things that interest the community. I think that, I think, I predict that's going to be the number one we'll see for, for that. And, you know, if you asked a government or public sector comms manager, if, they would take an opportunity of a weekly radio slot on a national station. They would take it with two hands, but there's there's something a bit scary about them seeing voice and conversation in the social media world. I know it's just a mindset thing, but I, I love that uh, advice of listening first, experimenting, and then trying Q and A. Talk to me a little bit about the logistics and the how-to of Twitter spaces and hosting rooms. One of the objections that I know I'll get from my students and clients is, but what about the trolls? What if the conversation is hijacked? They kind of sometimes veer towards the negative as opposed to the positive first. Absolutely. Let me address that part first. I, I just want people to know you don't have to fear the trolls. Twitter has worked very hard to make spaces a room where people can feel safe in conversation. They've had the ability from the start that you can choose who speaks, you can mute the speakers, but just recently they added a new feature that the host can tap one button and mute the whole room. So if for some reason the room just went crazy, you can tap that and immediately silence everyone quickly and easily. But um, what I would suggest when, when rooms are being hosted is make it so that it's an invite only for, for speaking. They give you some options when you start a room and I would never have it set to be anyone can speak because that's where you're going to have the troll issues. What you do instead is, is you can invite people and then people can request to speak. So if I was going to host a room and I was going to have a panel discussion, then when I start the room, I'm going to go invite and it sends them a DM. So ahead of time, I'll say, hey, be ready at this time and look in your DMs and you'll get that direct link. So I'll DM the, that, that group uh, that want to be speakers. So they'll automatically be speakers. And then when we start the room, if you have a period where you want to do Q&A and let the community speak, they can raise their hand basically and request to speak. And you can look at their profile. If you see a profile with no profile picture or no bio, that's a red flag, like do not let them speak. But you get to control that as the room host. So I, I find that Twitter is, is really doing a great job on making this be as easy for us to host and stress-free.